sponsor of CPTV's broadcast of UConn Women's Basketball. It's love. Yeah, yeah. Remax East and West of the River, committed to UConn Women's Basketball and the communities they serve. Remax agents know their markets and care enough to get to know each client. And every year, Remax associates donate to Children's Miracle Network and other charities. More about what a neighborhood Remax agent can do for you at eastandwestoftheriver.com. Remax, outstanding agents, outstanding results. Tanger Outlets, providing a direct from the manufacturer consumer shopping experience for nearly 30 years. With over 65 brand name stores in Westbrook, Connecticut, Tanger showcases designer and brand names with a variety of fashions for today's trends. Tanger Outlets is located just off I-95, exit 65 in Westbrook, Connecticut. Or for additional information, go to TangerOutlet.com. Maya Moore and the Huskies had the Tar Heels spinning Monday night in Chapel Hill on the way to a dominating victory. Maya with a double-double. Tiffany Hayes led everybody with 29. Tonight it's back to the Big East as the Pittsburgh Panthers pay a visit to Connecticut. UConn versus Pitt coming up next. It's a cold winter night in Stores, Connecticut, on the campus of the University of Connecticut. The 9-8 Pitt Panthers are in town to take on the 17-1, number two ranked UConn Huskies, who are a perfect 6-0 in the Big East. And welcome inside Gampo Pavilion. I'm Mark Brown alongside Megan Como. And the lead-up to this game has been dominated with the news two days ago that freshman Samari Walker has decided to leave UConn and transfer. This was out of the blue for most of us, Meg. What do you make of it? Well, you know, I had talked to Gino just Thursday morning, and there was, you know, maybe she'd be out for a week or, or maybe a little bit more. But then the word of the transfer, I was surprised. But you know what? If, you, if a kid doesn't want to be in your program, the last thing you want is to keep her here against her will. Move on. Good luck. And then everyone here is really psyched and ready to play. Well, now the big question, of course, is what happens with that front court rotation? Well, now the margin for error is really, really small. You're going to have to count on Maya Moore, if it's possible, even more. And she's going to have to get in the lane and be more physical, show that emotion like she did against Baylor. And Steph Dolson, you know, the big fr freshman center, well, she's going to have to grow up now in a hurry. And Heather Buck, well, you know, Buck has got to step up now. It is her time. She's an upperclassman. It's time for her to contribute. The numbers on the year, you could see, I mean, you can't expect more of Maya, but, you know, funny enough, you're going to have to get more out of her. Dolson's going to, her number's got to go up. Buck has got to score more. And their minutes, you know, all those three players, you know, Maya's going to have to get close to 40 minutes a game. You know, Dolson's going to have to play a lot more. You can't have injury. You can't have foul trouble. Well, we'll look for that beginning tonight. Meanwhile, just a short time ago, Gino Oriema had this to say about the future of his front court. This obviously makes it a lot more difficult. Um, we'll have to go and play it by ear. Each game, maybe attack it a little bit differently. Uh, I, I, I do think certainly uh, Maya is going to have to play a different role. Kelly Farris is going to play a different role. Heather Buck's going to have to play uh, a bigger role. Uh, and I think each game, it'll um, hopefully play itself out. Now going forward, Mick, just nine players available for Gino Ariema. Does this change the goals at all? I don't think so. They still want to win a national championship. But I know as a fan of the program, the fact that he's an All-American coach is probably the best thing that got going for him right now. Well, just moments ago, a milestone mark, junior Tiffany Hayes, honored for her 1,000th point accomplishment. She and the Huskies battle the Pitt Panthers coming up next from Stores.
All right, welcome back to Connecticut Public Television Studios, the home of UConn women's basketball, always has been and always will be. And we are so excited about this game tonight to see how these young Huskies do respond to some bit of adversity. So please go to your telephone right now as you are settling in to watch this game and enjoy the entire evening with Connecticut Public Television. The number is on your screen, and we've got wonderful reasons to call in. We have great thank you gifts. One that I want to tell about is DePaul. We have tickets for the game on Saturday, the 5th of uh, February at Gample, section 121. That's a great location. Only three pair available to you this evening. So please rush your telephone call to us right now. Now we have got that flag for $89. We talked about the flags and the beating that they have taken here within the state of Connecticut during this awful winter season. Well, this one, of course, signifies the historic event that took place at the Civic Center on 12 21 10. So if you'd like to have that new flag, this is different than anything else that anybody has, then rush your telephone call to us now. And then don't forget the Gino Show special edition tickets. $120, you get to have some appetizers, some wine, enjoy the show, ask your questions, hobnob with Gino and all of his coaches, and it's going to be another wonderful evening. We've been doing this for many years now. It gets more popular year in and year out. So call now. Our friends from Timing is Everything, folks who actually were involved in the game this afternoon that our men's Huskies won, and uh, some of their folks are at the uh, Gample Pavilion tonight. So it is a wonderful evening for you to become a member of Connecticut Public Television because we have a great game on store, and we'll ask you now to do your part. We have a goal of $35,000. We need you to help us reach it. Thank you. Welcome to UConn women's basketball on CPTV. The Pitt Panthers taking on the number two in the nation, UConn Huskies. Let's look at the starting lineup. Well, for Pittsburgh, Jania Sims, their leading scorer, 14 points per game. She's the point guard, makes it happen. Third in the Big East with almost five assists per game. Ashley Anderson getting the start as well, replacing Markel Davis in this lineup. Well, Tiffany Hayes among a great UConn lineup. Hayes with the 29 points led the way against Carolina in the last game. Agnes Baronado now in her eighth season coaching the Pitt Panthers. She's taken them to three NCAA tournaments and has reached the Sweet 16 on two occasions. And, of course, Gino Oriema now in his 26th season, 752 wins, seven national titles. That's 752 wins, number seven on the all-time list. Ready for the opening tip-off. Dolson jumps it up with Chelsea Cole. And we are underway. Pitt controls the tip and a beautiful play right Tanisha off the Harrison. opening set. Tanisha Harrison opens up with a layup. Well, this Pitt team plays with the enthusiasm of their head coach, Agnes Baranato. Moore had a good look at a three. Hayes could not control the rebound. It'll go over to the Panthers. Interesting look here. The Huskies a little full court pressure mark. And catching Pitt off guard just a bit, but they've got it into the front court. This is Sims. Back into the corner. Sims will bring it out to reset. 50 year senior. Well, the Huskies have full court press back into a 2-3 zone. I think we may see some more zone going forward with the being a man down. And a double dribble as Pitt turns it over. Harrison got the opening hoop and uh, then turn it over on the next possession. Time to take a look at Como's keys, Megan. Well, you know, this is something that I was thinking about coming into the game. These, th these three lines are put on the board in the locker room before every game. Play hard, play smart, have fun. You know, things got disrupted a bit, losing a player. Let's just resort back to what they know, what they do well. Inside Dolson passes to the far side. Miss on the three from Tiffany Hayes. And Harrison the rebound. Couple of empty trips for the Huskies to start off. Four seniors in the starting lineup for the Panthers. The only four seniors they have. After that, it is all freshmen. Imagine that. No sophomores, no juniors. Seven freshmen, two of which are redshirt. Tanisha Harrison missing on the three. Hayes the rebound for the Huskies. 
Breaking it down from the top. Hayes, scoop shot is blocked. Nice defensive play by Chelsea Cole. Still 22 on the shot clock. It'll be the Huskies ball underneath. Tell you what, uh, we have not seen anyone fall in a career like <laughs> Tiffany Hayes. That was pretty good block, I thought. So Hayes will inbound. Maya Moore on the wing. Tough shot, she draws the whistle at two free throws coming for Maya Moore. 24 points per game for Maya. See, back maybe earlier this season, certainly in years past, Maya would have settled for a jump shot there. I like the, the dribble penetration, get in traffic, get hit, get to the line. That's what her coach wants. And maybe now at this point in the season, she'll realize that she's really got to do that. She's an 88% free throw shooter. Statistically, that's number two in the Big East. Got the first one. And interesting to track the number of free throw attempts per game for her maybe from here on out. Yeah, that's a great stat. More whether, pressure. Wh whether or not I remember to do it is another story. <laughs> great job breaking pressure there as Sims set up Chelsea Cole for the layup. 4-2 lead for the visiting Panthers. Olsen out high. It's amazing to know Pitt has never beaten UConn here at Gamble. Patience. Maya lost the handle. Collected by Hayes, and now with the shot clock still running, Maya launched from about 30. Sims gets into the lane. Great defense from Moore. And out of bounds over the sideline, a great diving hustle play by Chelsea Cole. That's the second turnover of the game for the Panthers. Well, how about this defense? Straight up, and then you see going out of bounds. Get it to the high post, Moore distributing it out. Ferris on the way, Moore on the baseline. Short on the face-up jumper, and a rebound and the quick outlet pass out to Harrison. Got a two-on-one, oh, nice a great pass. ball movement, and another layup. Harrison scored off the great feed from Anderson. Well, just, they are so fluid on, on the fast break pit. So fun to watch the ball movement and the nice finishes. Down low, Moore again. This time she's got the range on the baseline jumper. And that bucket allows them, again, to get into that pressure. 2-2-1, two, two, full court. Moore missed her first three attempts. And now it's her first from the field. Two free throws as well. The only UConn player to score yet. Almost three and a half minutes in. Ball knocked away. Hayes in transition. She will take it in herself. Moore, though, <laughs> cleans up the miss. How about that rebound and put back? And there's the foul in the pressure situation as Tiffany Hayes commits it. Those are the fouls that they're not going to really, oh, they can't allow themselves to commit. And you'd think the lefty would make that shot. She was anticipating the contact, but once again, Maya Moore there with the put back. Sims walks it across. Leading scorer and playmaker for the Pitt Panthers. Anderson kicks it out. Harrison for three. She's got it. Very strong start for Pitt here on the road. Well, you know, their, their coach, you know, Agnes was telling me before the game, why not? You know, just believe. She, the, the, if, the confidence that exudes out of Agnes Baranato, the, the enthusiasm, you know, her team has it. Nice entry inside for Dolson who lays it in. Seven of the nine points for Pitt have come from Tanisha Harrison. Averages almost 14 a game. And she's on a roll the last five games, shooting 50% from the floor. Harrison in the corner, cross court Sims. Has some room, the lefty lets fly the rebound by Moore. Hartley in transition, gets all the way to the basket and lays it in. 
The Huskies have the lead. Great take by the freshman. No one stopped the ball. Terrific recognition by Hartley first. to get to the get to the hoop, Mark. Sorry, Meg. First lead of the game for UConn. On the baseline, Harrison cannot hit. A rebound for more in the quick outlet. Rhea Hartley pulls it back out. Moore looking inside for Dolson. Now Moore on the drive. Takes on two defenders. And tips it in. Maya Moore's got eight points already in the opening five and a half minutes. Again, more dribble penetration. I'd expect to see that a lot more from this point going forward. Bit patient on this possession. Knocked away by Moore. It'll still be Panther basketball, but only 11 seconds on the shot clock. We've got our first timeout of this Big East matchup. Stephanie Dolson stepping up big. Rhea Hartley going coast to coast. has come ready to play. It's a great game. Stay with us, but make that call right now because for a $60 pledge, we have these fantastic slipper socks, Yukon slipper socks. We have one size for women, one pair size for men, but they have those nice little grippies on the bottom. So this is going to keep you so warm and comfortable this winter if you'd like to have it. And don't forget, we want to thank Rizzuto's Wood Fire Kitchen and Bar in West Hartford, Bethel, and now in Westport for feeding us tonight. Thanks so much. Why World Class Market has been American owned and family operated since 1936, serving New England families with over 56 locations in Connecticut and Massachusetts. Big Y has been part of the community for over 70 years and shows its dedication by sponsoring a homework helpline for students in kindergarten through 12th grade and by awarding over 300 college scholarships every year. Big Y is proud to support CPTV. Big Y World Class Market, only the best for your family from ours. At UConn Health Center, I'm an orthopedic surgeon and an educator. I'm a hematologist and a researcher. I'm a cardiology nurse and an advocate for my patients. Thanks to UConn, I'm a heart attack survivor and a grandfather. UConn Health Center, our region's leader in health research and education, where you'll always find world-class care. At Hoffman, we understand that service has to be more than servicing your car. It has to be about giving you choices that make service and your life easier. So we offer complimentary loaners, hourly rentals, local shuttle service, and weekend hours. To schedule your Hoffman service today, visit HoffmanService.com. Hoffman, driven by trust. After a very slow start, the UConn Huskies have a three-point lead over the Pitt Panthers. Let's take a look back to the last time the Huskies were in action. It was down in Chapel Hill on Monday, taking on the Tar Heels. And uh, Maya Moore and the Huskies really had very little trouble in this one. Maya Moore with 26 points and 10 rebounds, uh, helping lead the way. Of course, Tiffany Hayes with 29 points, including point number 1,000 of her career. It all added up to an 83-57 win over Sylvia Hatchell's Tar Heels. And over these last few years, Meg, look, the Huskies have dominated North Carolina. And, the, and no wonder the series got continued, huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's just something that, you know, Gino and his staff, for some reason, they just, they have them figured out. And whether it's here or there, uh, these, these three years, they, they have their number. And, and trust me, Gino was quick to point out times that they've gotten spanked by the Tar Heels. But he's got the last three, that's for sure. Got to feel good. So that's the last time the Huskies were out on the floor. Now coming in with their perfect 6-0 Big East record to take on conference rivals Pittsburgh. Shot clock is down to six already and they're trouble with the handle Hayes hits the floor and takes it away Lauren Dixon just into the game bringing it up for the Huskies she's going right to the basket and she's fouled on the pass off trying to make a spark here Lauren Dixon the senior I would expect Gina would put Lauren Dixon in the game a lot more now as well and they'll just have to go with the smaller lineup 
She's averaging 21 minutes a game. I'd see that bumped up to 25, 26. Yukon missed their first six shots from the field. They've made five of six. There's Dolson. How about those moves in the post? That, the best part about that move was her patience, and that caps an 8-0 run here for the Huskies. I love her patience, feeling where the defense was. That's a phenomenal move. Six of their last seven shots from the field for the Huskies. They're now the five-point advantage. Bodies slamming to the court. Number 31, Stephanie Dolson. Dolson picks up the foul. Well, check this out. Watch. She catches the ball. She, look at that nice wide stance, wide base, feels where the defense is, and then with the right foot steps past the defense to get by and uses her left hand. That's just a phenomenal post move. Little glimpse of the future, perhaps, for the Huskies. Sims gives up the dribble. Here's Anderson. Shayla Scott, the face up. And Moore going to the ground to control the rebound and got it off to Dixon. Huskies are doing a good job on the defensive backboard. And Baronado is trying to plead to the officials. That was a walk. Shayla Scott took it away and then was fouled by Stephanie Dolson. And see, Baronado getting her team. Like, again, so positive. Exudes energy and enthusiasm, but that was Steph Dolson's second foul. Okay. That's the kind of stuff that they can have happen. Well, it's happening right now. The much thinner rotation in the front court with Samari Walker leaving the program this week. Now Dolson in early foul trouble. Right now she continues to play on, though Kelly Ferris is at the scorer's table. Anderson throws it away. She was thinking Shayla Scott was going to roll, but she popped instead. I hate when that happens. <laughs> so does Agnes Baranato. It's happening too much for them. They're averaging 17 turnovers a game by the Panthers. That's five so far in the early going. There's Kelly Ferris out on the wing. So this is a look at that smaller lineup you were talking about, Meg. Yeah, and, and it'll work against this Pitt lineup right now that, you know, Pitt's not that big inside. Ferris on the board and stretches the UConn lead to seven. Although look who's in there right now. Maya Moore is guarding someone who's 6'5". <laughs> guarding the big freshman, Lisa Burgess. One of those two redshirt freshmen you mentioned before. Here's Tanisha Harrison. Shot clock is down to 10. UConn stepping up the D. Harrison, tough shot, got it back. Four seconds to shoot. Sims can't hit. Moore has the long rebound and the run out. Coast to coast, it won't go, but she'll get two free throws. It's been a total team effort so far. Kelly Ferris getting into the act as the Huskies are heating up. They lead by seven. Mark Brown said, there she goes, coast to coast. And we go coast to coast to bring you UConn women's basketball wherever they are playing across the land. If a game is available to us, we committed that we would be there and we have honored that. Now we're asking you in the time that we have tonight to talk with you expressly about your membership in Connecticut Public Television. Won't you do your part? Whatever it is, we don't care the amount. We just want as many people to get involved and to let us know that you are as committed to UConn and Connecticut public television as you ever have been. Now when you call in, talk about commitment, no more media guides, we said no. There will now be a yearbook and we'll produce it only for our members. Please go now. Your recipe. Our energy. Now you're cooking with gas. Natural gas. It's a natural for cooking, heating, hot water, and more. Yankee Gas. Delivering clean, efficient, safe, and reliable natural gas. Every doctor I have now is affiliated with St. Francis, and I won't have it any other way. The treatment is excellent. They have great doctors. They're on top of what they're doing. They got me back on my feet. All the doctors were professionals, caring, and on point. The quality here is just outstanding. 
They knew right away what was wrong. My surgeon was amazing. They're incredible. I wouldn't go anywhere else, to be honest with you. The doctors and nurses were amazing at this hospital. It's given me hope in my life back. Don't let times like these stand in the way of the dreams you have for your children. New York Life has been helping protect families with the gift of financial security for over 164 years. New York Life, the company you keep. For a rollicking good time, tune in to the Red Hot Chili Pipers. <laughs> Sunday evening at 6, right here on CPTV. Rock and roll bagpipe, Meg. There you go. We got our own chili pipers up there. Absolutely. Rocking and rolling <laughs> inside Gamble Pavilion. A slow start for the Huskies, but they have really started to hit their stride. Now have the 16 to 9 lead. Jonathan loves it. And the crowd loves Jonathan, of course. Well, this is a long week. You know, they get back from Carolina Monday night. They head off Tuesday, Wednesday. Practice Thursday, you know, Friday. Here it is Saturday night. We haven't had a Saturday night game here in a while. But to have all those days off, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, I'm not surprised to have seen a little bit of rust. Maya Moore back at the free throw line. Has another one coming. A perfect three for three from the line tonight. Nine points. Missed her first three shots from the field. Three of four from the field since. More pressure for the Huskies. Off the make. Markel Davis just in the game number 13 in blue. For Pittsburgh. Meanwhile, a foul on Bria Hartley. Pressuring. It's her first. First personal foul. Fourth on the team. It's the fourth team foul on the Huskies. Now with the 18-9 to nine advantage. 11 and a half minutes to go in the first half. And if it's a good foul, you can handle it, but that was just, you know, a silly foul. Anderson to Scott. Good quick ball movement for the Panthers. Scott has it inside. What was that, three-second call? Three yep. Second three violation. second violation. Okay. Sixth Panther turnover. Well, that is definitely a number heading in the wrong direction for Agnes Baranato's crew. Barris on the wing. Mid post and the turnaround for Tiffany Hayes. Largest lead of the game right now for the Huskies as we're a double div digit deficit for the Panthers. And the Panthers are going to use a timeout here. Utah women's basketball will be back in action Monday, January 31st when they take on the Duke Blue Devils. The game will be right here at Gamble, 7.30 p.m. on Monday the 31st. Tickets can be purchased at UConnHuskies.com. Well, inside Gino Oriema's huddle. And earlier today, we had a chance to talk to Agnes Baranato, the pit coach, about what it means when you take on UConn. For me, this game tonight is just about the great opportunity that playing University of Connecticut presents. I'm a huge Connecticut fan, and um, I received a text the other day from a friend in Tennessee, David, and he said, uh, it's great to play against the best and coach against the best. And I've been using that with my team the entire time. So an interesting approach from Coach Baranato. You know what? She is just one of those people that is just, she's just so happy and, and just sort of fun to be around and you know even though they get you know they've lost handily to UConn she told me that there were two games that she, where they lost by 50 that she actually wrote Gino a note and thanked him because they could have lost by so much more and then he took it easy on him and she was really serious about it another empty trip for the Panthers Lauren Dixon pushing it up and well now decides to go a wild miss, and now a 5 on 4 the other way until Dixon gets back. <laughs> Tiffany Hayes bails out the defense by making the steal. Now Hartley. Panthers are back and set up, so, so will the Huskies. Moore at the high post. Beautiful turnaround. Who takes that, that any better than her? Oh, my gosh. That step back move, if she's going to play more in the post, as she, she clearly will from this point on, that will just burn so many players that are taller than her, they won't be able to guard it. I mean, people her own size can't guard her. Well, the run, Meg, has now stretched to 16-0. And that's what this, this Husky team does, Mark. They just, now there they give up a bucket. 
That's Jania Sims, the first Panther basket in six minutes. Hayes on the attack again. And she was fouled on the drive. Let's see Maya again. Just fundamental. It's textbook. just so fun. I mean, that is just such a great play to catch it. And then that step back move that creates the space where there's no way the defender can lunge at her to stop it. And if they do, well, you know, she'll typically go around them. But in that, that quick create the space and quick jumper. And here you see she did it there. She pump faked. She's so quick. Even though she missed that shot, she's such a threat to, to score or drive every time she catches the ball. Under 10 to go in the first half. An 11 point Huskies lead. It was 13 at its largest just moments ago. 16 to nothing at UConn run and it got them that 13 point lead. Markel Davis gave up the dribble. Shayla Scott from way beyond the arc. It buries a three. The Panthers certainly needed that. Well, that, clearly the best three-point shooter on this team. There's Moore speaking of threes. She sizes that one up. Cannot hit the rebound to Kyra Dunn. What a career-high 10 rebounds in their last game. A loss to Notre Dame. Here's Sims. Pulling it back out. Davis guarded tightly by Lauren Dixon. Shot clock down to eight. Ashley Anderson lets fly. Ferris collects the loose rebound. Head up, Dixon pushing the pace. Nobody stops her. Sets up Hartley. Rattles in the three. 25-14 Huskies. Well, it's nice that, you know, and I see Bria Hartley's got the, the, the black ankle brace on her right ankle. It's nice to see there's no ill effects of twisting it against North Carolina. Lauren Dixon makes the steal, could not control. And now the Panthers have it back. Good hustle from Dixon there. Yeah, but that's where she got a little bit too ahead of herself and tried to do too much. Again, guarding Sims tightly. Shayla Scott will launch again. This three was on the oh, move, oh. but it doesn't matter. She buries it anyway. And you know, her mom was a great player at Pitt, Jennifer Bruce, years ago. Hayes missing from the wing. Ferris, check that. Hartley will down the rebound. This is Kelly Ferris, and she wants a three. How about that rebound? Snatched out of midair by well, Tiffany Hayes. And, and Agnes Bernardo was screaming, how about that over the back? Could have been. Good position down low for Moore. Faces up and banks it home. She's got 14 to lead all scorers. And that's going to become, I, I think, her signature move. I mean, that is just so impossible to defend. 10-point lead. The Panthers walk it up with fifth-year senior Jania Sims. Trying to lose Dixon. Dixon hanging right with her. Here's Scott. She's at two threes in a row, but she throws that one away. Intended for Dunn. Eight turnovers killing the Panthers right now. Rhea Hartley rattling in a three as the Huskies are on the roll. On a roll indeed, and we wouldn't expect anything less from our Huskies, and we are hoping that we're on a roll here at CPTV as well, and you are going to make that possible as that person is doing right there by making a call, making a contribution at any level that you feel comfortable with. Put a dollar value on your love for watching the Huskies right here on CPTV. If it's $100, and just so you don't forget that we are public television, we've got a great canvas tote bag, the classic tote bag, pocket in the front, Snap closure, it's a wonderful item. We would love to send it to you as a way of thanking you for your contribution. So why not do it right now? Give us a call here at CPTV. UConn Women's Basketball on CPTV is made possible with support from our founding broadcast partners. Big Y World Class Markets, a family owned and operated supermarket proudly serving their fellow neighbors and founding sponsor Yankee Gas, providing smart, simple, clean, natural gas for Connecticut homes and businesses. On the web at yankeegas.com, along with St. Francis Hospital and Medical Center, serving the community with the world-class care of the Connecticut Joint Replacement Institute, 
Connecticut's largest hip and knee replacement center. Information at 1-877-ST-FRANCIS. New York Life Insurance Company. 165 years of financial strength. Help ensure your loved ones will always be taken care of. That's why New York Life is the company you keep. To contact your local New York Life agent, visit us at newyorklife.com. And People's United Bank. Serving Connecticut for nearly 170 years with prudent banking, local decision making, and community focus. Learn more at peoples.com. Member FDIC Equal Housing Lender. Twenty-seven seventeen, UConn. As they have benefited from eight Pittsburgh turnovers, 10 points off those eight turnovers, and of course, Maya Moore has been spectacular. Makes she's got 14 points already. Well, and what I love about those 14 points, she doesn't have one three. She's missed her three attempts, but how about that finish? I mean, she just is relentless on the glass there. The catch and the quick release, and then here that step back move, and the nice kiss off the glass. 14 points, you know, five of 11, those five rebounds. She's got a block in 13 minutes. And she is a spectacular player, Meg. There's no question about that, but you can see the work that she's put in on the fundamentals. Sometimes the difference between a, just a good player and a great player is how they do those little basic things extraordinarily well, well all the time. Absolutely, and she's trying to expand her game and not rely on the three. She's working really hard at really rounding out her game. And you can see, I see a difference every game. Heather Buck just into the game, and that will not endear her to Coach Oriema there. She turns it over, turns into an easy hoop the other way. Tanisha Harrison cashing in. She's got nine. Well, she Buck has just got to shake it off because they're going to need her. She's out there now. Hartley looked at Buck. They're looking again. Moore goes to the other side. Maya at the high post, forced it inside the buck. It was taken away nicely by Chelsea Cole. Yeah, that was really good defense by Cole stepping in the passing lane. Yasmin Fuller into the game for the first time, running point for the moment for the Panthers. Hartley on her. Harrison, the leading scorer in the game for the Panthers. Turnaround jumper in the lane, will not go for Chelsea Cole. Another chance for the Huskies. Eight point advantage, Hartley off the buck screen. Maya Moore, baseline to Ferris, back to Moore, a oh, tough fadeaway. And she